me with Shah. Where the blood? Right in there. All right. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Right there. I feel it. I feel it right there. I curse you and command you to go out of his neck. Hey, 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 hallelujah. Loose from his body and drain out of his body without an incision being put by a doctor. In the name of Jesus, I command it to be so right now. You foul spirit of a bullet, you come out of his body and you leave it whole. For that the Lord has set free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus. I command it to come out. Come out. Come out. I command you to come out. In the name of Jesus. And leave it every whit whole. As Jesus, when he prayed for the deaf dumb man, he left them every whit whole. In Jesus' name. I command it out. I command it out. I command it out. I command it. I, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for healing his hand. I thank you for giving it every nerve, every fiber to come back together in the name of Jesus. I pray, my hallelujah. I thank you for healing his hand, God. From the ankle, from the elbow, all the way to the hand, God. Let this hand be made whole, God. Let nothing about it be unfunctional. Let everything function and be whole in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you for sparing this life. But now I want you to make it every way whole. In the name of Jesus. It's done right now. In Jesus' name. I believe it. What about you? Do you believe it? I believe it, brother. It's done, brother. It's done, Deacon Bishop. It's done right now. In the name of Jesus. God, spare your life. Run for your life. Do all you got to do for God. Hallelujah. Do what you're going to do for God. Amen. Be used mightily of God. Because God spared your life to be used mightily of God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody worship God with them tonight. Come on. Somebody say the devil is alive. And the blood of Jesus is against him. Wave your hand if you know it to be true. Say, I know it's true. You see, we have been eyewitnesses of many miracles under this tent. It was on the same tent ground that a blind man, dead blind, Eyesight gone many, many months ago Whose eyes could not see Diabetic His eyesight was gone You know how diabetic eyesight Don't be restored on its own No therapy can do that There's no, amen, way They can re transfer it back But he came in this tent Walked from that direction His aunt brought him in here By the hand of blind man and once he came in, when the service was over, hands were laid on him. And once we prayed for him, God opened the blind man's eyes. Right here. Now, maybe you might not believe it worked today, but see, we saw it. We're eyewitnesses. We're eyewitnesses. We saw it for ourselves. We know the man was blind, and others in here, they know him. They know he was blind. But when he left from up here, he walked out in the audience and looked and said, Why are y'all looking at me so hard? And he went up and started hugging people. I said, If you're healed and your sight has been restored, go into the audience on your own without anybody taking you back. He walked out in the audience on his own and did not trip over one chair. Hugging people and seeing people, he had full sight. Do y'all hear me tonight? You just got to trust in the God of your salvation. Can you say hallelujah? Somebody say yes, Lord. Somebody say, Lord, I praise you. Somebody say glory to God. That's not all. There's been several lame people come right under here and receive their legs walking again. Amen. We've seen too many miracles to doubt God now. Somebody say yes, Lord. yes Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Last miracle was when the man drove in here on a scooter. We have a church like this, and I'm in the middle of my preaching, 
And he just drive in here and sit right in the front where that pole is. I said, well, if he got boldness enough to come in here and stand right and interrupt our servant like Bartimaeus and stand right in front of us, I got boldness to believe God for his healing. So I stopped preaching and asked him, did he want to be made whole? He went to explaining to me what was wrong. I said, no, I want to know, do you want to get up out that scooter and walk? He went to murmuring something. I just got him by the hand and I just began to pray for him. And once I prayed for him, Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I said, I don't know what happened to your legs. He said, they were crushed. They were messed up. They've been like that for a long time. They have no power in them. I said, all right then. Praise God. And I went back to him. I said, let's just stand up and then I'll help you. I helped him up and he stood up. And when I helped him up, I said, praise God. You're able to stand. That's the blessing. Give God thanks for that. And he had been a little intoxicated, so he was talking. I said, just calm down. Let the Lord do the work. And after he did that, I just went to talk and I said, you stand right there and I got to talk to the people. And I went to talk about faith. And I left him standing there. And when I left him standing there, he stood there for a long time, not knowing he was still standing. And once I saw him standing, I said, you've been standing a long time. I said, you might be able to walk. I said, come on, let's just, just, just take a step. And I said, come on, brother. And he just took a step and I went to talking to him and he went to walking. I went to talking to him. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? We started way over here. We ended up over there by the organ and the keyboard. When we got over there, I told him, I said, you said you couldn't walk? He said, no, no, I can't walk. I said, well, look how far God brought you. And I, I left him there and turned him around. And I left him there and I went to talking to the people again. And after I went to talking to the people, I said, come on over here where I'm at, brother. And do you know he just walked right back over there. Did, did y'all see it? Did y'all see it? Didn't God perform another miracle that night? Say to God, it's not me. It's not this church, this ministry, this tent. It is the power of God. You have to believe in the almighty power of God. Either God can do all things or he can't do nothing. And I'm here to tell you there's nothing too hard for God. Say hallelujah. If you can it's only but believe, all things are possible. Say hallelujah. Somebody shouted glory. So don't you doubt what God may do in here tonight. Under this great gospel tent. Say amen. amen. It ain't how sophisticated you are. It's just about how much you can believe God with childlike faith. Can you say praise God? We thank God for you being here. We thank God for Pastor Amen Hunt being here, bringing his friend along with him also. Give God a hand for Pastor Hunt, my good friend. Give God a hand for both of us. In the presence of the Lord, those words are vain words. But when you get in the presence of the Lord and seek God, then you walk like He walked. You talk like He talked. You speak like He spoke. And when you speak, you're speaking with His authority. Because you have been in touch the throne. You have been in touch. You have been all the way up to the throne and reached out and touched Jesus. And when you touch Jesus, He's going to touch you back. And when He touch you, He give you power and authority and rule and dominion over your enemy, over the devil, over all them that fight against you. Because he's mighty. I mean, our God is mighty. And he's giving power to whom he will. He's mighty. Just let say mighty. I don't, I don't see but a few warriors in here. It ain't but a few warriors in here. Real warriors, real soldiers, when you start talking war talk, they can't sit down. Real soldiers, when you start talking about battle and how the battle was won, they get all stirred up inside. Real soldiers, when you start talking about the battlefield and talking about the general and how strong the general is, they can't sit down. Some of y'all ain't got no warrior in them. Some of y'all just sit there because you are sidestepper. You are a spectator. But I come to talk to them who are not a spectator, but they are on the battle. Here. They're on the war field. They're mighty warriors of God. These are the ones that will seek God until they touch God. And when they touch it, He will empower them with power to overcome their enemy and authority to speak like He speaks, and it shall come to pass. Yeah. 
Get you now if I was speaking about if I was speaking about getting a Cadillac car and if I was speaking about getting a Hummer, so many people would be standing up. But she I'm speaking about spiritual things tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, something happened to show you that he can do what is spoken of him to do. You don't have to lie on God. You don't have to lie for God. What God say he can do, he can do it. Give God a hand for that miracle right there. Praise God. 
you got to believe God with all your heart, saints of God. We got to stop sitting carnally by and thinking that God may or might, but you got to start knowing that God will and can. Say amen. He's able to do above and above and above all.